Hey everybody, welcome back to part four of our Japan game. Oh, I didn't save last time. That's because I'm just doing the other part right now. Well, I guess I'll save just in case. Uh, wonder three, yeah, whatever. So we took this city, but it was at grave, grave cost. I, and this is a Japanese citizen too. I was really hoping it would be a, a French citizen because then it'd be less likely to flip. But I guess we'll see what happens. Um, yeah. We can... In terms of deterrence, the naval units still act as good deterrence, so we're going to get three naval units soon. Uh, but in terms of like what effective army we have, we're uh, much less effective in actual combat. Um, that's fine. And yeah, we, we just cannot afford to, to risk anything. Japan is still at war with people, right? Yeah. This is a complicated web. Everybody's at war with at least one person. That's how we want it. That way they don't just declare war on me for no reason. Hmm, oh, we can do a civil defense if we want one. Um, I guess this is our frontier city, so it makes sense here. Okay, let's see what goes. Yeah, I swear to God, someone told me. Really, this is the thing you're going for. Okay, uh, someone told me. Japan and Biz. Okay, they, they didn't... This is like just status quo antebellum. They didn't take anything. Uh, looks like Zulu are pushing back here. Uh, but the Egyptians have Memphis. That's like the important core city that they were missing. They're kind of fragile. Like if they just lost one city, they would have been completely bisected. So uh, that's a key city for them to pick up, which, which I want. I want them to do well. I better go here before the privateers come. Uh, and starve. Maybe if I... If I, like, allocate these differently? Looks like Zulu's always, always second. Yeah, someone's told me that you would always... You, you could use this to starve someone else's cities out, but I, I'm not really seeing that. Or to starve any, someone's citizens out, and then we'd only have the Aztec citizen left, and then the city wouldn't be really at risk of flipping in this case. But no, that, that's just straight up not happening. <laughs> Don't listen to the com YouTube comments section. Okay, let's get this done. Yeah, we're just going to straight up have some incense. That's good. Uh, Zulu... Do you just have a lot of gold for me? He does, yeah. And horses and wines. That fixes that. I think with some of those wars tapering out, I can maybe get away with that. Uh, if I pay off the Byzantines. I think I just want their gold. They're still at war with somebody, right? Uh, a few people. Oh, okay. Egypt's actually in danger here. Is Egypt at war with... Two people? They are. Okay. Uh, and the Byzantines are not at war with Japan anymore, so no more distractions. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, we definitely... No. <laughs> uh, we're going to give her this and then replaceable parts. And it looks like she probably has rubber. He won't let me give her... Oh, yeah, she has rubber. She barely has rubber. Okay. Uh, she's liable to lose that, so it's good we got that over while we can. Looks like Byzantines are pretty spent in a bunch of different theater theaters, though, so they don't have too much to attack her with. Uh, that's okay. Zulu's at war with a few different people. And somehow all of the, the island factions... Or the two island factions, two, at least, two of them at least. Uh, that's pretty funny. I think we should just grow this city. Uh, I think the next culture building, short of a small wonder, is the research lab. So that's going to be a while. Oh, we need to... She has no gold per turn anymore. 
Or, or why won't she accept gold per turn? It, it shouldn't have anything to do with... Yeah, my trade rep. It, it shouldn't have to do with that. Um, hmm. I think I'll hold out for steel. Yeah, I'll just pay her for dies. Oh, and she has no rubber. Oh my god, that's a godsend. Okay, so it's slightly more expensive buying stuff now that I have uh, a fourth city. Uh, but we'll live, and we'll have other luck soon. Okay, uh, did we want the iron? So this is real. Yeah, I actually railroaded that. I think that's actually all the rails we fundamentally need. There's other, if we want to, there's other worker jobs we can do. Biz and Mongols, fine. Uh, yeah, like cleaning the shit up. Okay, so there's universal suffrage. Uh, I, I guess not. Where am I getting this gold per turn from? Maybe a little from the Byzantines, but that's, she's the normal cash cow, but uh, I guess a lot of it's coming from Zulu and Egypt. Maybe Japan. Okay. Let's grab communism. I feel nervous about this city being empty on the Japanese port. I, I just, I guess I just have to keep constant wars going on. Uh, every single city, or I guess just Japan, Zulu, biz. Oh, of course, I can't even give away fucking... Yeah, good thing I didn't give away atomic theory or electronics because I, I don't want to lose the Hoover Dam. Anyway, there's oil. I do have oil. Uh, it's an interesting development. Uh, it would have been pretty easy to buy because you, you can't actually buy it until much way after it becomes useful. Or sorry, you can't use it until way after it's available. So by the time I get flight, they'll have refining for sure. It, it, like the rubber, that wasn't the case that way because you can use rubber immediately, but... Uh, not with oil. Zulu in Japan, good. Uh, nobody's made any progress here. That's exactly what we want. We could... No, enough fucking wars. I, I'm, I'm through with losing dumb units to dumb shit. Once we have one... Ho, wait, hold the fucking phone. Once we have one bomber, we can just, like, chip away at them unit by unit. Huh, you got another tier border expand. Uh, he's at war with uh, Japan. That's why he's doing that. You're not going for me. Babylon and Biz. Egypt and France. Okay. Uh, I didn't see the first one there. We'll see if it was anything important. Uh, so it was Egypt. It must be Egypt and Biz, huh? Okay. So what's the chain reaction of that? Um, Biz is still at war with... Oh, Biz is at war with nobody. Okay. Well, I know what we do. Okay. So we, we call it Babylon. Uh, we actually... No, we, we gift them a bunch of texts first. Uh, hold up. Before, I'll, I'll check if nobody... Everybody has parts, right? I think Shaq actually doesn't have parts. Uh, so I'll gift Shaq a parts. How about Egypt? Uh, I, I gave Egypt parts. Oh, she actually has iron for me. I'll grab that. I don't know if I'm going to... With all these wars, am I going to be able to like do a diplomatic victory? Uh, who the hell knows? That's actually pretty sweet. Uh, did he lose his salt? No, he's still salt, so he, he can benefit from that, actually. 
Uh, and I give him that. I give him nationalism. Uh, is there anyone? Yeah, I'm, I'm basically, I'm going to give the Babylonians... Uh, Because they have rubber, right? Yeah, they do have rubber. Uh, I'm going to give them the text for infantry. Should make them pretty much unkillable. Uh, and then I'll get I'll declare war on them. And biz versus Babylon. Oh, this is just atomic theory. Oh, yeah. I, so, so I can give her this. She's further behind than I thought. She has refining, though. That's annoying. Um, but she still has no gold per turn. Yeah, at this point, I need to keep her behind. They don't actually need to be that far behind me, though. Uh, now that I think of it, I don't need gold, though. See, they don't need to be far behind because it doesn't really do anything if they are. Wait, could I get away with a war with Biz now? No, that would involve keeping units in these cities, so that's a no-go. Let's... Uh, I'm not planning on getting the border expand here, so let's... Should probably make a habit of doing this. Okay. Oh, she has no coal. Oh, fuck. I should have queued up some railroads. That's a, sh a shame. Okay. I really hope Japan's at war with two people. Uh, yeah, two. Okay, that's fine. Babylon and France, that's fine. Uh, is Egypt at war with anyone? I think they were at war with some stupid island factions. Oh, with Zulu. And, oh, they replanted Avaris. That's fine. I guess the one thing I got out of this early war that cost me, like, the horsemen and the swordsmen was I got some workers, which are clearly super valuable. Uh, is Zulu just going to die? I think if I gift him rubber and the city flips, it counts that as a broken promise. Uh, the city hasn't flipped yet. Uh, I don't know. Uh, still one Zulu citizen. Hmm. Uh, what's our global culture ratio? Uh, French are in awe. Babylonians impressed. That doesn't say much, though. Byzantines are disdainful. Unimpressed. Egyptians are impressed, okay. And the Zulu are impressed. Okay, the city might not flip. So let's... Wait, hold up. If he loses... I think we actually want him to lose Mapondo. Was, did she have, like, an embargo? Maybe that's why she wouldn't give me per turn gold. Uh, so the espionage thing is actually the one way I can... So I could just rotate palaces around. No, no, I can only build the palace once, so if I, if I flip my cap, it's it's stuck that way. 
Damn. Uh, okay. Um, is there an embargo? Uh, oh, the active potential. That's kind of useful, actually. I could just like look here. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any embargoes. So Byzantines must just be broke. Yeah, all of those things, uh, I don't need fascism. No one ever really does, but... Uh, that doesn't trust stop them from trying to sell it to you. Okay, so... Um, we can grab coal, espionage, fascism. Okay, we do need espionage, because... I mean, it's the one thing that we can actually do with gold. Oh, wait, how useful is espionage in this game? If there's a part five, I might, like, spend... The next little bit like figuring out how useful espionage is uh we'll do this here it's pretty low corruption yeah we got these yeah screw all this yeah it looks like my is gonna fall Uh, so that's a pre-build. Yeah, we're not pre-building anything here. Sure, that's fine. Let's uh, let's start some twenty-turn deals just so she likes us. A good start. Yeah, annoyed now. This is for sure gonna fall. Okay. Uh, so let's get. Uh, his trade route should be fine. He's not at risk of... Wait, does he only have the one harbor? Uh, we still have a land route, too. Uh, but we're gonna lose land route. But we got land route through here, unless the Egyptians are at war with him. I'd rather people don't hate me, but... Okay, just take it. France on Egypt. Hmm. Huh. And again, anything that keeps these going is good. Uh, we should be watching... Oh, yeah, France was actually not at war. France not being at war with anyone's fine. I'm not worried about them sailing up and fucking with me, but anyone else. Uh, that's a war. And that's a war. Okay, and she's not making any progress. It's good. Make this a little bit faster. Yeah. Knocked a few turns off of that. Uh, we can actually get a, some unit support. Yeah, we're not... I wish we were paying more unit support. If we import rubber from Japan, will we not lose our trade rep if uh, our own rubber gets caught, cut? Like if this gets... If the city flips? I think of the stupidest things uh, when I do these challenges. I swear to God, guys. And I guess we'll do stock exchange. Okay. Um, nothing we can pre-build here. Oh, so this is fallen. Yeah, I think this is safe, actually. So we can start guarding this city. Uh, there's only one Zulu tile here. And the Zulu are impressed with our culture. So this doesn't really do much, right? Uh, the Hoover Dam, it pretty much just gives us a maintenance-free hydro, hydro plant in our cap. Because it doesn't do anything without the factory here, and we could have just built a hydro dam here. It does take it away from the enemies, though, so... Please tell me. Oh, I don't know who that was. Uh, Biz and, and Zulu. Okay, is that what we needed? Looks like it. I guess I could maybe do that, but no, I, I won't. Oh, nice, we actually have this mine now, which is a great mine. Yeah, fuck it, just rail that. 
Uh, yeah. 27 turns, not bad. Babylon and the Zulu, it's fine. And at this point, we pre build a destroyer. Did we lose a Lux or something? Uh, yeah, the Zulu are collapsing. Okay. Um, well, am I in a position to do anything about this? Throughout all of this, he still likes me. Uh, I am still providing him rubber. Uh, looks like the Egyptian or the Japanese got to beat us somehow. Um, yeah, I just can't afford to fight Japan. That's uh, just not something that can ever happen. So here's combustion. I guess we go flight next. Yeah, this is actually extremely useful. Uh, this is a potential next land unit. Yeah, I am just like 100% okay with losing tours. In case you're curious. I'm just impressed we got his low. Oh, no. Uh, I think I still have an alliance. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, I'll just sell that. <laughs> Uh, gems for, yes, okay. Okay, grow my city. You have an aqueduct, right? That's nice. Oh, I think I actually have not built my aqueduct yet, so I, I can build one aqueduct. Because <laughs> uh, this one, captured buildings don't count as buildings. France on Babylon, it's fine. Wait, maybe we should get uh, Japan at war with Babylon. Uh, I think because I got two Lux off him, I actually don't need this, uh, this silks that badly. Oh, and if my deal with somebody else ends, I, I can just, I'll have silks back. So who am I likely running against for the UN? I should keep that in mind. Uh, definitely Byzantines, okay. Yeah, fuck, why not? That Again, that doesn't actually make it stronger. Frigate doesn't actually upgrade, huh? Not even a cruiser. Okay. I think I want to do airport just in case before I, I do my bomber. <laughs> uh, just I, I might as well have my bomber and fighter be a veteran. Well, that chop was pointless. Oh, I have no rails anymore. Lucky me. Let's make sure France likes... Yeah, France does like me. Pretty good that... She, oh, yeah, it's, it's actually not a miracle at all that she survived because she has this one tile city that she can't lose. But it's good she's held on to stuff. And Japan still has Rouen, huh? Oh, okay. Um, 
I think after enough pillaging and forcing them down, they're they're weak. Uh so I guess Japan will oh hmm. Maybe this would work better on a bigger map. No, then you need to force more people to be at war. Yeah, this is just a very hard challenge. Uh, still one Zulu. Okay. Uh, so maybe that in culture flip? No, probably not with the global culture ratios. Although, yeah. Oh, we have no iron. Okay. I think we just straight up, yeah, the texts that they have don't matter, and we actually might need them on our side, so. I was wondering, what happens if we give Babylon tour? So the idea is we give them tour and then we surround it with our units. I'm not even sure if we have enough units. Uh... And that way the enemy can't attack it. Uh, I did not build two cruisers. Sure. I mean, she likes me, but she we don't really need her to like me. Oh, he's still... Wow, that's actually a lot of gold he's got. And he likes me. Okay. Uh, Babylon we can deal with. So uh, uh, let's let's just take a, a sample right now. So we have... Hmm. I think we can get Egypt to vote for us with a military alliance. Uh, so Japan would not. And I think the Zulu still would. She'd be the other candidate. France would, Mongols would. That's that's game, uh, and I think we could even afford to lose one of those. Uh, more likely to flip when it's uh, doing that. So you should be careful. Yeah, there's our pre-builds. Huh. How close are we to... Wait, could we do a one-city culture victory? I don't know why I didn't... Did I consider that? And I was like, no, that's too cheesy. But somehow uh, a, one, uh, a fucking diplomatic victory, which I do all the, hell the fucking time, is not too cheesy. Is that is that what I said to myself? Because uh, if, if we just endure, we could potentially even lose a bunch of cities. We could win this. Yeah, we're way ahead of Constantinople. Doesn't seem to be a risk of any AI winning one city culture victory. Yeah, okay, I think that should be my priority then. Just endure. Oh, we didn't build our culture buildings here. Yeah, I mean, thank God too. Otherwise, we'd have had a bunch of problems. But I guess the wonders alone, they, they do the trick. We got all of the wonders from this era in the city. That wasn't intentional, but it just it just happened. Babylon and France. Let's take a look at Biz. Still at war with Babylon. Okay. Uh, do we have coal? Egypt actually has coal. Hmm. And what does Biz have? They're missing combustion, but they have everything else. Uh, they don't have that much gold, though. So we got flight next turn. We built these stock exchanges. We might as well get our money's worth from them by <laughs> doing that some of the time. Okay, mass production. Yeah, I, we should just finish out the era. We actually do have the requirements for tanks, though, interestingly. 
Oh, we probably should have done that last, actually. Uh, now that we know that, we still get the we still get the culture. We still get the tourism gold. Um, that does slow down our teching. Uh, so here's the airport. Japan and Babylon, fine, I think. Zulu is actually holding out well here, it seems. Uh, they lost in Tome. Oh, God, I'm, I don't know how long this is going to last with them. Uh, if I can get this to end. I, I, yeah, okay, I think the plan is just start a massive fucking war against the Byzantines. Um... When we, at, at a point when we're like 10 turns away from UN or something like that, or, or just when it seems like we can't hold on any longer. Okay, yeah, it seems to make her like us. Because logically, the first person who's going to die to the Byzantines is, hey, we can freak on now. I don't know how valuable that is. Uh, we don't have border expand. Is everybody still... Okay, Zulu at war. Oh my god, why am I... Trades. So, Zulu at war. Oh, but they're not at war with Japan. Oh, and Japan is at peace with everybody. Okay, we need to start a war with Japan. Uh, who are we at war with? Anybody? We're at war with Babylon. Oh, that's convenient. Okay. Uh, Japan. Losing his shirt. Okay. I thought you were saying something completely different there, Tokugawa. Uh, we can just pay him off. Yeah, probably good that the Zulu have a chance to recover and they don't die. Uh, I guess Babylon's the sacrificial lamb for me, the guy everybody's beating up on. Nine turns, not bad. Uh, so we can rush the bomber. At mass production, did we unlock anything else? No. Uh, looks like at, at mass... Oh, God, the claw... Not having the Colossus really slows this down. At mass production, oh, we get a bunch of ships and we get a com oh, commercial dock. Eh. Uh, so... This gives us wealth, but wealth doesn't actually go towards science. It's just funneled into the treasury. So we actually do get increased commerce by switching over here. Yeah, so mass production in seven versus an eight. Yeah, there it is, boys. Cool. Yeah, we can get seven like that. That's fine. So there's our one bomber. So again, daily, everybody at war with everybody. Everybody's at war with somebody. Check. Yes. France? No, that's that's fine, though. It's France. Uh, yes, Biz still. Yeah, this is like just a short little line, so I, I get confused by it. But that, they're still at war. Haven't taken another city. Babylon's doing okay, it seems. Oh, I, I guess I could just do propaganda and like... Uh, but if, if the propaganda fails, then he's just going to declare war, so... Actually, gonna not railroad this in case uh, he declares war. Okay, finally we're getting this railed.
It was a good city for commerce. That's not bad. Byzantines in Egypt. I'm actually fine with that. Are they fighting inside my land? What? Um, I'm not worth Babylon. Okay. I think this is the point at which we... Oh, so the, the issue is that... Okay, Japan's never going to vote for me, actually. So it doesn't matter what I was... The, the problem I was thinking of. I was thinking if Japan gets too big, then they suddenly become eligible for the UN instead of the Byzantines. But uh, that's not going to happen. And it's not the end of the world if it does, because Japan's never going to vote for me. Byzantine's never going to vote for me. It's equivalent. So this is a Byzantine unit. There's a Byzantine city here. Let's give it one turn to let the Byzantines cool down. Egypt and Zulu. Okay. So right now I, I could fundamentally get everybody at war with Byzantium. Uh, if I do that, though, they might not be the candidate. So I'll, I'll see how the war plays out with Egypt. It, it's good that they're doing that. Because now Babylon's not going to die. Mongols aren't going to die. Um, yeah, especially with Japan hopefully going to... Uh, to Babylon. Maybe she'll take some pressure off. Okay. Um, let's get that now. Still no... Oh, she has combustion. Oh, I, I can build an ironclad. I, wait, ironclads might actually be outdated. So I, I missed the opportunity to build ironclad. I think I made the right decision there, <laughs> nonetheless. Uh, but again, they serve as deterrence. Okay, I'm actually going to give up combustion. Uh, I guess it gets them closer to flight, but oh, sh should I be? Yeah, it should be fine. Uh, they're just spices. I'll just gift her ironclads. And um, oh wait, hold up! I need to be careful. Oh wait, no, this is just straight up because I have Isla Wanda, This is just straight up my gems now. That's good. Oh, I get a bunch of workers if I declare war on Byzantium. <laughs> I don't know how much of the priority that should be for me, but uh, it's on my mind definitely. Yeah, Egypt's actually looking strong. Uh, but that's that's a reason not to get involved with the, the not to get people involved in this war. Not a reason to do so. Hmm. Oh, so wait, commercial dock goes here. Uh yeah, rush under rush using a worker. And commercial dock, we'll do this. Can we do that at all? I mean, as much as it'll let us. Okay, that's that's the limit. France and the Zulu, that's good. Okay. Uh, like that, yeah. Okay, that's good. We have just as many sea tiles as we have um, non-river tiles. So we got the border expand here, but at what cost? A lot of time and shields, but it should be fine. Uh, it looks like they're running away one tile at a time. Uh, hmm, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I am just... I, I don't need, like, a ton of workers. I mean, I guess... We'd... No, I, I can't even do a radar tower. I don't have the tech for a radar tower. Um... I guess I could try to spy on Byzantium, and that's it. It's, not, it's got so much culture, it's not going to flip, I don't think. Uh, okay, I can build a... a what's, the, what's the stuff I can deal now? I can build a battleship. We're starting to have, like, quite a bit of coastal bombard here. <laughs> okay. 
Yes, absolutely. In fact, I might have volunteered to just give that to you uh, to improve our reputation. Not seeing Japan. Um, let's see. Still at war, though. This is what we're doing with our money. We're just buying a battleship. Oh, wait, hold up. Um, that was a bad idea. So the battleship is actually, I think, our best pre-build. Yeah, I mean, the tank will be good, but we just want to build a tank for its own sake. Uh, yeah, there's no other pre-build, so... Oh, wait, we don't actually have to build in our cap. We can build it here. 14 turns? Yeah, that's... I, I suspect we're going to... Nobody's done sanitation. That's actually upsetting me. We'll do the battleship. I think that's most of the things that we wanted to have railed. Uh, we can like road this. Nice. Yeah, if, if they... Okay, so they took Biblos. Yeah, I, I think we actually want them to win this war though. Uh, we can still build a submarine. Not good for naval, naval bombardment, but it is a, a deterrent. How do, oh, 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 they've read a passage, so they're just able to fly through my land and, and get onto the Byzantines. Uh, so they lost that city. Okay. It's a shame I let France fall so early. I think this would be a lot easier if France was still alive, or at least I'd have like more wiggle room. But I mean, I figured that I needed three great powers. Um, and we still have three plus the Zulu are alive. Uh, so we kind of traded Egypt, Zulu for Egypt, but so it turned out okay. I mean, two is the absolute minimum. If there's just one runaway AI, and it's like even if you AI ally with everyone else on the continent, you can't solve the issue, then you're fucked. Because obviously you can't fight your way out of this one. Uh, sure. That's interesting. I'll just... Yeah, well, what do you want for sure? Yeah, we absolutely cannot build an ironclad. It's a shame because it means it would probably would have upgraded to something useful. Uh, okay, we we actually have... This is good that we have... Yeah, we can kind of pre-build there. And now we start the palace. I'm wondering if at this point it's it's worth the to defend tour. Yeah, we could just yeah, we get one tank. Ugh, Babylon. Eighteen turns for fission. Okay. So what's the situation? Uh, I unlocked tanks, so we can build a tank. Or buy a tank, that's what the gold is for. Um, check for... I mean, if I want to rail, I can rail. This is max commerce. Uh, like, look, Let's look at that, yeah. The, the wealth gold doesn't get... Yeah, that, that slows us down, you'll see. Uh, oh, we can do this. Uh, I guess it's a bit of commerce. And we can grow our city.
and grow to her a bit if we want to. So I think we actually stop this and then however many turns before. Oh, nice, that's beautiful. So here's our tank. I think at this point, we'd, uh, with them having all these tiles, I, I just don't get how it doesn't flip. We'll keep one gorilla there, I guess, the, the regular gorilla. Okay, uh, what are we on to? Um, this is going fine. I like how they just, this is a lot more, they lost the rubber. That's a big deal. And, and Biz got rubber. Hmm. Oh, we, we need to check for, for military, uh, for wars. Uh, Japan is fighting nobody. Okay, so I think the time has come. Uh, it's... They have no flight. What are they giving us? Uh, we're giving them silks. Fuck, okay. Um, still a war with Babs, though. Uh, so I can just milk this for what it's worth. Uh, yeah, we'll do Babs then. They, they just need to be at war with someone, otherwise it's just going to be us. Uh, I think a military alliance would get her to, to like me. So we have Zulu, we have Mongols. Zulu, Mongol, Egypt. Uh, France doesn't like me now. Huh. What happened there? Okay, I guess that solves it. Okay. Mm, no progress, no change. I'll roll the dice one more time. So I'm just worried that the, the Japanese will just be like, this war, Babylon, just not cutting it for me. Uh, so I'm going to declare war on you instead. Because that's the one way, like, when you're think you're in a good spot that's the what you should be thinking how could i possibly lose this and to me that's the only option i see oh i guess we should see we're still running against byzantium uh oh we're, we're giving silks to byzantines the thing is they don't care if you like betrayed the ai as long as they're at war with that same ai who you betrayed the thing is i don't think They'll make, probably make peace, at least a couple of them will make peace before 13 turns have expired. Um, so what, what that means is that the possibility is that, like, okay, I do this alliance now, I get everyone at war with Biz, but by the time I build the UN, some of them have made peace, and so I'm not getting the reputation bonus, and then some of them might declare war on me. I guess I could just auto, like, just keep on renewing it. Does that work? Uh, just renew over and over again if they make peace with Byzantines. I think that's the best bet. Uh, yeah, the, the one thing to watch out for would be... Um... Uh, Egypt lost a city. Okay, that's uh, another city for Biz, though. Or more land for Byzantines. Oh, fuck. Uh, start the pre-build now, right? Yeah, I can slow it down a little. It's good. Uh, we can mine these tiles. Uh, I guess we're never getting hospitals. Uh, 
Okay, she has flight, so I, I can't just stop start bombing her. Uh, what was that risk that I had? Oh, yeah, the, the risk is that the Byzantines start attacking me hard, I guess. There was something that made me want to end turns. Oh, uh, maybe my trade rep gets ruined. Yeah, so that's the thing. My trade rep might get ruined. Uh, as if as because I'd be betraying the Byzantines by declaring war on them, uh, because I'm offering them dies, and that's fine as long as the other people are at war with the Byzantines because they don't care if you betrayed someone they're at war with. Uh, Zulu on Egypt. I think Egypt's busy right now. That's still not good. Uh, Zulu, they like me. Uh, no, heading end turn is kind of working. I just don't know if I'm rolling the dice, you know? I think everybody's at war. Yeah. Uh, who are we getting those from? Oh, did the the deal with the Byzantines just expire? No, it silks uh, still for a few turns. I can put them in the next era. That would risk me losing uh, if they get fission of the free tech. Yeah, that'd be very bad. Uh, so Japan. Oh, they still have no mass production. I don't know, maybe I can get them for, to vote for me. It's possible with the military lines. Yeah, timing still seems to be working. Yeah, I think I'll hold off on... Oh, okay, yeah, Egypt's getting just slaughtered. Uh, oh, they just lost two. Uh, yeah, okay. It's time. Oh, wait, how long How long do we have less on this? Um, two turns. Yeah, I can wait two turns, I think. Wait, so we can actually get her to occur war on us if we just do a spy on her. Could I have just done that the whole time? I'll end a turn just to be careful. I don't know what she can do in two turns. Uh, not take another city. Let's check if she has anything in the meantime. They call me. Give me gold up front for this. She will. What happened? Anyway, 100 gold is not worth me misunderstanding how the trade mechanics work. I'm pretty sure that if she's the one who declares war, uh, it doesn't matter if I break the trade deal. Oh, I, I guess the, the spy deal might go through. Okay. Well, that's that. Uh, so do we still have the alliance versus Japan? It's funny how we're in Republic and we just been this in this perpetual war. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, we do. Uh, where's the Byzantines for Modar's transportation? Would he do it just for silks? He pretty much would do it just for silks, which is some classic Civ 3 AI shit. <laughs> okay, uh, so there's... Versus Byzantines. He might even vote for us now. Probably actually shouldn't have. Yeah, he likes us a bit more now. Uh, I kind of have to. Yeah, he might just fucking die. But... I guess I could use this to recon. Oh, the Byzantines just straight up have shit in my land. 
I don't want to lose literally all my workers. Um, I also don't want to lose literally half my cities, so I should be careful about what they can do. Oh, okay, I, I got a turn of artillery fire. I might as well... Uh, I could cut off their, their entrance into my line. I, I think I need to go for the guaranteed thing. The Japanese should do enough damage. And it's not like they got a million units here. They're at war with the Egyptians. Um, and it, it's not contiguous. They're not Spain, so they don't have conquistadors. I think literally none of their units can reach this far in. Okay, and they actually can't attack here either. Um, I feel dicey about this, but... Yeah, uh... Oh, wait... He might have, I guess he, has, he could have a fighter here, but if he has a fighter there, then he could have a fighter anywhere, so. Okay, that's dealt with. So, yeah. He can't get over the mountain. There's, like, mountains literally every direction, except for one, two, three, too far. Um, one, two, three, yeah, I can't reach. There's no four move units in this game. Did I build the civil defense? Where did I put the civil defense? Mistake? Ah, shouldn't put it in tours, I guess. Uh, just in case I have to counterattack here. Japan goes first, though, right? That's what we said, uh, or was it biz? Uh, yeah, Japan goes first. Okay, so Japan will get the attack off. and There's no way they have too much in there. Did What did, what did he just bomb out? Yeah, oh, I veteran. Thank God I got veterans, actually, because he can't one-shot with a bomber. Uh, can I get any other? Uh, it doesn't matter. It seems okay. Wow, they just got wiped off the map. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna complain about that. Um, my bomber is considerably more safe now. Let's put a gorilla in, and should we even risk having this intercept? What's the situation on the ground? If it's just the one bomber, yeah, he can't do anything more than he just did. Okay, it's probably good that we waited on the war, because clearly Japan has the capacity to wipe out the Byzantines. Uh, although, Babylon is actually can die. Um, it might actually help me, uh, depending on what the situation is with the, the vote. Because they're never going to vote for me, because I've just been using them as a punching bag. Might not have been a good idea to recon this. <laughs> okay, it looks like their infantry is going to get home, so... I say reconning again. Uh, it's Japan. It is Japan. Huh, okay. I wonder if I had an opportunity to take that. Probably not. So fission in two. Oh crap! Oh yeah, everybody needs to be at war. Yeah, even the minor factions. Uh, let's recon this. Yeah, that should be fine. Let's do. Uh, if I guess this is maybe a bigger danger, arguably. Okay, so Mongols, uh, get them at war with Biz.
Nope, uh, it should be biz, yeah. Okay, uh, he loves me now. She's polite with me, actually. Really, you need two techs. Okay. To betray your embargo, I guess. Um, anyone not at war with Byzantines? No, literally the entire game, except maybe Babylon, but I'm at war with Babylon. Uh, and I still have the military alliance with Japan. Again, Japan could feasibly vote for me. We'll see what the situation is now. Uh, Japan has taken them, overtaken them in population, but not in land area. I wonder if there's like a viable play where I just gift cities to the Byzantines, but I don't think I can do that without the Japanese taking. So. I wonder if they're fighting over here. <laughs> oh yeah, Babylon's fucked. Thank you, Japan. What a bro. Tokugawa? More like Brokugawa. Yeah, just what the, the Mongols actually took a Zulu city. Incredible. Okay. So I can turn off my tech in, in theory, I guess. I don't know. Um, For a second, I was like, do I have uranium? But oh, I actually do have uranium, huh? Probably turn off animate battles. Uh, I'm gonna wait with. He does have interceptors, so I need to be careful. Looks like they no, they replanted Buto. Yeah, they just have infantry. Maybe I should have given them motorized transportation before I declared war. <laughs> what the fucking hell? Ugh, fucking Christ. Is this game for real? Um... I mean, I, I gotta keep this war going for... F I didn't think the pre-build would be this bad. Holy shit. Uh, because my factory's in the other city. Fuck me. I should have planned for that, maybe. Hmm. Okay, well, if we, we can rail that, if we get... No, there's no iron, no coal. The world is a hellscape. Okay, well, I just need the Byzantines to not collapse. That actually really takes them down a peg, doesn't it? Oh, the Jap Jap Japanese didn't get a city there, so that's probably good. Uh, okay, I gotta back off. He might pillage me. Oh, but there's no no mine there. Ah, uh, no, twenty five turns might be doable. A long time though. <laughs> Japan comes in. Where did you come? It's the rate of passage, I know, but kind of hilarious. Okay, probably good to see Japan losing units. Uh, I actually don't want to kill the kill Byzantine units. Yeah. Do I want to attack then? What's the situation? Uh, if I get computers, I can build exactly one. I think the most beneficial one is actually maybe advanced flight. So that gives me paratrooper, so a defender. Uh, having a fuck... Oh, my two infantry have become max. Okay, clearly that's... Wait. Is it done way before UN is? Yeah, this gives me a lot of units, actually. Oh, wait, I can build a flak. Might be useful.
Yeah, Byzantines, you tell them. Oh, come on. Uh, I actually probably want this one irrigated. And then I use the mountains. Is he attacking with... Was he attacking with the fortified units, or the Byzantines suicidal enough to attack into there, into that, in that situation? Both of those are concerning. Is he just wandering? He's he's at war with Egypt, right? Uh yes. Can I espionage her? I mean, I might as well try. Yeah, uh, flag uh, flag still an issue, but. Uh, good to try. Okay. Uh, so if we want to try to rehabilitate Babylon. I really don't get how that city hasn't flipped. Like, why did that... Uh, I'll, I'll double check. Shouldn't do anything stupid. Yeah, I mean, it's a chance he might vote for me. It's good to have backups in case he dies or something. Why? I don't get why this city flipped, but this one did not. Maybe capital distance. Yeah, this one's much further from my capital, and this one's, and this one's much closer to his, and this one's far from his and close to mine. I guess that does it. Oh, uh, screw you. That actually really fucks me. That slows down my UN. Did that give me another tick of war weariness or something? I can't believe this guy. Okay, uh, so there's just straight up coal if I want to colony it. Okay, and I think I bombed this. Okay, well, I don't want to lose that tile completely. Bam. Zulu and Mongols, that's good. That's what I want. Um, yeah, pop over with that. Might as well. Okay, let's wait another 20 turns. Uh, I can start a little faster than that, I think. Uh, is there any way I can get Lux? Oh, Egypt has some. I don't know how consistent that is, but it's worth doing. Uh, we want Byzantines to be winning. Okay, they're planting cities at least. Uh, they planted Sardica. I think you could argue it's worth trying to spy on the Byzantines every turn, uh, just because there's a so there's a one third chance as long if you fail a spy mission, there's a flag. As long as the flag's there, you'll f fail every single spy mission you attempt on them. Uh, it's probably just plant spy, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and every turn, there's a one in three chance that the flag will disappear. France and Zuland, it's great. I can also get an explorer. Uh, I could use it to like cut res because explorers can pillage. Sure. France and Babylon, Mongols and Babylon. You know, if the Mongols want to get stronger, then I'm not going to complain about that. Japan just like killing shit out of their shit from my land. That is just. Brokugawa strikes again. Nice, I got an elite now. Okay. 
Well, what the hell? That must be Japan. Um. Oh, it's just not on. T That's fine though. How you doing, Zulu? Uh, I think I need the rubber. Who knows? Am I in trouble if he dies, though? Uh, how much does Tokugawa actually like me? Okay, he's actually gracious to me. But we have to remember, I might be running against to Tokugawa. Like, we have to be prepared for... Okay, yeah, we we are 100% running against Tokugawa. Because he took Biblos. He took Biblos. And, yeah, Byzantines are... They're they're both tapped out. Uh, no, they're not. They still have high-pop cities. It looks like Biz slaved a bunch. And once they slave a bunch, they just... Craters their economy, everything goes bad. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to need people to run against Tokugawa. Andy. Oh my god, I have to betray Brokugawa. <laughs> uh, I'm wondering if there's a way to rehabilitate myself with the Byzantines. <laughs> Oh, fuck you. Please tell me they're not disbanded. Uh, yeah, they just got disbanded. Yeah, those are that was literally all my workers. I have to capture workers if I want some. That was just careless from me. We're getting near the end, so... Uh, excuse my carelessness, but... There it is. Okay. Um, do we? I think we make a mech infantry army, uh, and then we can do. Well, yeah, we won't let us rush this. Will all this these failed spy missions make her hate us? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So this unlocks heroic epic, so it can give us a border expand. Oh no, we need a victorious army. Okay, uh, so excuse me for a bit. He's, she's actually reducing the amount, amount of shields I have when she does that. Uh, I think that's making up for the... Oh wow, pollution. But I have no workers now. If I, I just If I lose tile improvements, they're gone permanently. Okay, better use the, the fucking fighter too. Um Okay, I think the way we do this is we we put the tank in the army now. Oh, sanitation. Uh, do I want that? That improve my commerce. Uh, sure, I guess. I don't want to give him fission, though. I don't think I have anything to offer him. He just... Uh, really feel ba bad betraying that guy. Okay, uh, maybe I can make things work with Babylon. Wait, Babylon liked me, yeah. Uh, they were only annoyed and not completely hating me. Uh, so if they're alive, I'll double check to make sure. Yeah, I only have two military lances and they're against Byzantines. Wow. Uh, see what good that does. I should have checked how many units he has. Uh, not like it's any cost of me to make Rite of Passage or whatever. Yeah, there it is. Oh, hold up. Here's a question. Can I survive one turn of being at war with Japan? And I think the answer to that is probably no. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, we'll get rid of that. Oh, fuck, we didn't go for the max. Okay, let's see, does... Doesn't T... Do they have anything? Uh, oh, they got Ecology as a free tech. Huh, oh, so I guess the Gorillas upgrade to... To Tau? Yeah. Yeah, not bad. And this upgrades to Sam. Yeah, just because we're going to have one turn of war against Japan. And we have to survive that onslaught. Uh, so I think we actually concede Tour. Yeah, so we're going to start pillaging now. Uh, so the goal is that they, they can't get through. Uh, we can actually... bombard with our ships for what it's worth they can actually come at us from a bunch of angles this is gonna be a really climactic finish and if i fuck it up it's gonna be really funny uh oh yeah we can't yeah once we lose a tile once the tile is polluted it's just perma polluted uh so we can do this in nine Eight, actually, maybe. Oh, sorry, I should make peace. So they might start making peace with Byzantium, and I don't want Byzantium allying, allying them against me, so I need to be careful here. Babylon and France, that's good. Uh, not a chance. Okay, so I can make peace with Byzant Byzantines. Uh, what's the situation in terms of land area? Oh, do I? I can build one cruise missile if I get aluminum. <laughs> I forgot about that funny detail. <laughs> uh, also jet fighter uh, and upgrade my current fighter. Mm, so we'll, we'll double check, of course. Um... Yeah, everybody's at war with the Byzantines, uh, except Zulu, which is probably good. Uh, but I don't have any military alliances with anybody. Okay. Yeah, that's actually kind of exactly how I want it. Um, maybe I should have tried to plant a spy. That doesn't do me much good. That might screw over my trade rep. Uh, anyway, uh, so I can do one bomber... Yeah, I do have the res here because I have oil rubber. I do have the res for uh, for Max. Egypt and Byzantium. Okay, that's okay. So the one, I don't care if Egypt declares war on me. Uh, and Byzantines are still at war with Japan. That's the big ongoing 1984 war that we need to keep going. God, maybe I should have mined more of these mountains while I had a chance. I guess you don't know what it, you got till it's gone. Do we start pillaging now? So, I, I don't think he can actually come here. Like, he doesn't have enough to take Ulandi. Like, we have a decent amount of shit. God, we built our civil defense in the most useless city. <laughs> uh, I think he can take tour, so we'll just cut off tour. One, two, three. Yeah, he doesn't have anything that moves more than three turns. No, I appreciate that you like me, though. Uh, can we make this here? Yeah, we, it's fine. Sure. Oh, you don't like me? Let's see what we can do about that. 
And you like me. Do I even need to do the war against Japan? Oh, I guess there's a possibility they like Japan more than me, so I actually do. God, this would have been so much easier if I just pre-built in Tenochtitlan. Uh... Yeah, the enemy has flight. Oh, she's the next hero. Good for her. She didn't give me sanitation, though. Interesting. I can build one carrier. Okay, uh, next turn it's going to be... Can I actually afford to lose my cap? That's an interesting question. Did I build another mobile sim? I didn't. Okay, let's get that mobile sim now. We need every single defensive unit we can get our hands on. Ah, we should have started pulling out sooner. Fuck. Okay, we can use our bombard, though. Oh, we could just abandon the city, I guess. Yeah. The issue is he can use... Yeah, he can use our roads if they're inside his territory, and if he takes the city, it's inside his territory. Uh, this has Japanese citizens and no French citizens, yeah, so I can safely abandon this, I think, without pissing anyone off. Oh, we have the Gothis Gorilla here. I thought we had one more. Yeah, so nobody can reach us. Uh, so I guess uh, when we start bombarding now. I don't know how the borders are going to look when this all is said and done. Okay, uh, I think that's good. So this is the turn that matters, guys. Uh, so we need to protect the city. Uh, we, we just abandon this now, right? That's the next step. Okay, so what can he do? He can't even get remotely close. Uh, I guess he could have marines. Yeah, we'll, we'll check if he has marines. That is something that is within our power to check. He, he doesn't have the tech for marines. Okay, so he, he actually can't attack our capital. I think we're not completely screwed if we lose our capital, too. Um, the one thing they could do is like slow down production in Teotihuacan, I guess. But there's no, like, factories requiring coal. Yeah. Uh, I think this completes. Can switch here. Yeah. He could, like, stand on my tiles, I guess. Okay, here it goes. So we declare war in Japan and ally against them with everybody. Yep. Uh, I'm running against them, right? Okay. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a scary one. Uh, so rocketry for war against Japan. Keep my happiness going. I don't know what he's providing me. Um, oh, she likes me now. Yeah, as long as we like get the UN next turn. I think this is in the bag. Zula might just fucking die. Uh, well, you know what? That would be a distraction, and I, I, we have people to spare here, right? Uh, so against the, the Japanese. OK, 
Okay, that's we lose our harbor. That might fuck our trade rep. Again, he, he just physically does not have a way to get here. I don't know what I'm worrying about. Uh, this isn't multiplayer Civ 3 where crazy double moves can happen. Uh, Mongols. Okay, and uh, Babylon. If I get literally every other Civ voting for me, this would be such a well-deserved diplomatic victory. Uh, yeah, nobody died. <laughs> and I think they're all going to vote for me. They're all playing with me, it seems. Uh, let's Let's verify. Yeah, at war with everybody. I seem to have an alliance with... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's see how it goes. Okay, here come the tanks. Nothing too scary. Nobody died. Yes. Oh, Theodora is actually also running. Interesting. Um, this hypothetically could complicate things. I'm Montezuma. Yeah. Um, no, only Theodora would for Theodora. I, I guess we all, we made her all, everybody hate her. So. <laughs> anyway, okay. Congrats, I fucking did it. That was so dicey, oh my god. <laughs> Okay, see, so let's see that beautiful replay. Oh my god. Check that I'm recording. I am, in fact, recording. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the balanced start locations. Like, I, I had a lot of people close by, but I, I, I didn't need a lot of space, obviously. I guess it would have helped in terms of taking cities. It would have been easier to take cities without them culture flipping if uh, I spawned a little further away from people. But yeah, here we go. I was like, oh, I'm behind an expansion this game. Of course I'm behind an expansion. I was literally only allowed to build one settler. And one of everything. Okay, so everything... Did they, like... Uh, it was just the borders expand or whatever. They didn't take a city. Yeah, so Egypt looked really strong at the start. That's why I was scared of them. Um, But yeah, I... I can't remember all the diplomatic shenanigans. This was just like a game of pure diplomacy. Wow, France settled that entire island. So if France stayed alive, they would have been a, a strong competitor. I can't remember why I wanted them at war with everybody. I don't know. Yeah, so this is the war with the, the Zulu, where they broke down. It's weird. Like, Babylonians almost died. Mongols came relatively close to dying. France had the one city, so they weren't going to die, but they were down to one other city. Uh, Egypt was pretty damn close to dying, and Zulu was on one city. So I played this super close with all the civs, but you only need four to vote for you, counting yourself. So it, it depends on the number of players on the map, too. So yeah, like I said in the victory condition ranking video, you can get away with some really loopy shit with... Um, uh, what's this victory condition? Uh, diplomatic victory. You can just win games that you shouldn't have won, and this was an example of that. I did have a lot of wonders, though. Oh, my GNP. What the hell? I guess they really... Yeah, they're in fascism, and they really crippled their economies just fighting. Uh, I guess I didn't understand the... the... Yeah, okay. Uh, I should have known. I, I guess because my land area was so low. Yeah, the fair. That the fact I won with the fair on Emperor means <laughs> more to me than anything else. Okay, this is a fantastic game, fantastic series. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.